بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنباء المرسلين سيدنا محمد بن عبد الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم. Good morning uh, girls and gentlemen. It's my pleasure of time to be with you again here in this lesson. As you see, uh, gentlemen and girls, today we are going to talk about uh, Mega Goal 4. By the way, gentlemen, this is Mansour Al Garni. I'm English supervisor. It's my pleasure time to be with you. Welcome back and let's see our lesson today, gentlemen. We have unit six, as you see here, gentlemen and girls, we have unit six. I want you, all of you, please, open your books on page 90 and 91. 90 and 91, okay? You have to open your books there in that uh, pages. Then you are talking about, uh, or we are talking about what would, what would you do? What would you do that talking about unit uh, six? Unit six. Writing uh, skills today. Today we are talking about writing skills. How can you improve your writing? How can you write? How can you uh, narrative? How can you do so some uh, short sentences? How can you build a sentence in your English? It's a simple and it's an easy way, gentlemen and girls. Just follow me and watch what we are going to, to, to talk about it. Okay. This lesson, gentlemen and girls, we are talking about these goals. As you see here, we have many goals. Here we have students are able to aim helping student notes that features in different contexts that I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you and to guide you to the right way in order to write a good essay. Also, you are able to read a personal essay about someone that you choose, uh, that you choose. Okay, anyhow, we have to improve your writing skills and writing ability, gentlemen and girls. Practice writing more and more. This is, this lesson today is one skill. As you see, gentlemen and girls, we have four skills, respective skills and productive skills. Reading, writing, speaking, and uh, listening. Today we are going to improve our writing way. Well, we have also used some of the expressions for giving opinions. I need to listen from you. I need to you to express your feeling, attitudes, and your opinion. How can you express all of these expressions? How can you say it in English? It's easy way, gentlemen and girls. Just only practice and practice and drill. And at the end, inshallah, you will be fine and you will be fi find a good result at the end. Anyhow, gentlemen, let's see. The first uh, slide here, which is talking about writing. Okay, it's the it's the number ten sections at your book. As I told you, t uh, ninety and ninety one. By the way, gentlemen and girls, what are they? What are these pictures? What what is it talking about? This picture talking about what? What do you see? Who's that there in that picture? And where are they going? These people. Okay. According to your opinion, gentlemen and girls, I think you got it. And this one is, I think it's in the school or in a university, an institute or an institute centers. We can that. You see that teacher like me, what I'm doing like now, okay? I'm explaining or I'm presenting something new for you, okay? Or I'm uh, doing my lesson for you, okay? This is the way how to teach, okay? We have many, many skills and many ways and many procedures, many steps that we can do it with you girls and boys. Okay, what about the a second picture here? Where is it? Where is the location of this? Okay, you see a lot of people at the airport. They are not in a school, they are at the airport. What are they doing there? They are maybe traveling for for example, for studying, they are maybe traveling for uh, changing their life. They are maybe traveling for visiting some people or some friends. Okay, there are some reasons behind this picture, gentlemen and girls. We have to focus and to concentrate on these uh, kinds of pictures. Okay, here we have many questions here, as you see, gentlemen and girls here. We have, who are the people in the pictures? Where are they going? And what are they doing? Also, how do you know? How can you express, how do you know what are they doing or where are they going? Okay, by looking at the features of these photos and at the features of these uh, pictures, you can express and you can give me your opinion, give me your, uh, we call it expectation, what, what is going on behind that one. Okay, 
Here we have gentlemen and girls, we have a listening activity in this section also to develop writing. Okay, but by the way, gentlemen and girls, I want you to open your books on page 90 and 91 and to follow this passage to understand it. And there are because many questions behind this passage. Okay, ready for listening, gentlemen and girls? Okay, I will play this one. I will do it twice for you. Okay, be attention, please. Page 90, 10, writing. After I finished school, I chose to try out a number of things before settling on one field of study or profession. I had originally wanted to go to art school, but it changed my mind when I found out how hard it was for graduates to find employment. I was also reluctant to go ahead with it because I knew that my father was likely to disapprove in a quiet but very noticeable manner. He wanted me to study medicine, but I didn't. I took a number of courses in typing, shorthand, French, art, design, and literature, and worked part-time as a public relations assistant, a shop assistant, etc. Eventually, I started studying psychology, philosophy, and linguistics. I had also managed to attend a teaching methodology course that qualified me as a language teacher but I was not at all certain that I wanted a teaching career. At some point, I was approached by a new airline company that invited me to do an interview, followed by a test before I could be offered a job. At the time, I used to help out with registration at a large language center where my uncle taught. So, I agreed to spend the next few days working for them from morning till evening, totally forgetting the airline company. Two days later, the man I knew from the airline company turned up and accused me of being irresponsible because I had not bothered to check with the airline company on the final results and a job offer. He said there was still time to do it, but I would have to drop what I was doing and run. For some reason, I did exactly the opposite. I stayed put, thanked him, and went back to work. Later that evening, I was offered my first teaching job by the director of studies. I have often wondered what my life would have been like if I had chosen the airline company instead, but not too enthusiastically. Regardless of difficulties and ups and downs, this is the choice that has become a life's choice, and no amount of wondering is likely to ever make me regret it. Yes, that's correct. Okay, gentlemen, okay, I have to play it again for you. Okay, pay attention again, Page please. Page 90, 10. Writing. After I finished school, I chose to try out a number of things before settling on one field of study or profession. I had originally wanted to go to art school, but it changed my mind when I found out how hard it was for graduates to find employment. I was also reluctant to go ahead with it because I knew that my father was likely to disapprove in a quiet but very noticeable manner. He wanted me to study medicine, but I didn't. I took a number of courses in typing, shorthand, French, art, design, and literature, and worked part-time as a public relations assistant, a shop assistant, etc. Eventually, I started studying psychology, philosophy, and linguistics. I had also managed to attend a teaching methodology course that qualified me as a language teacher, but I was not at all certain that I wanted a teaching career. At some point, I was approached by a new airline company that invited me to do an interview, followed by a test before I could be offered a job. At the time, I used to help out with registration at a large language center where my uncle taught. So, I agreed to spend the next few days working for them from morning till evening, totally forgetting the airline company. Two days later, the man I knew from the airline company turned up and accused me of being irresponsible because I had not bothered to check with the airline company on the final results and a job offer. He said there was still time to do it, but I would have to drop what I was doing and run. For some reason, I did exactly the opposite. I stayed put, thanked him, and went back to work. Later that evening, I was offered my first teaching job by the director of studies. I have often wondered what my life would have been like if I had chosen the airline company instead, but not too enthusiastically. Regardless of difficulties and ups and downs, 
This is the choice that has become a life's choice, and no amount of wondering is likely to ever make me regret it. Yes, that's、uh, regularly regret. Okay, we have gentlemen here and girls. What is going on here? We have, we have no amount of wondering is likely to ever make it me regret. Okay, that means okay, I have a choice after graduation for for example from my、uh, schools. Okay, I have many choices. Okay, I can go to the university. I can go to stay with my. Uh, home, I can stay with my father. I am look for example. I can go and look for a new jobs. Okay, what about you, gentlemen and girls? Are you going to choose a decision that can change your life totally? Okay, this is depend on your opinion and your choice. And what about your family and your father and mother? Do do they agree with you to change or to continue your study or to stop continue? By the way, you have to continue your studying in order to change the life. In order to change your life, when you are doing something future which is good and positive for you, you can change your life totally. Okay, but if you did a mistake, that also you can go down and、uh, maybe you will lose your life. Anyhow, you have to study for many skills. Okay, gentlemen, here we have, as you see, this teacher. Okay, he's. Trying to explain, and、uh, this lesson, okay, or this、uh, picture is talking about the writer. I have some questions here, gentlemen and girls. Is are the, these questions are talking about the message? What we talked、uh, about it. Okay, the first one. Let's see here. What did the writer originally want to study? According to the previous listening activity, gentlemen and girls. Okay. What did he want? He he tried many jobs, and he tried. He think that he do he he will do many exercising or many experience in different fields. Okay, why? In order to choose the best one for his life. Okay, what he did? He did many jobs like that. He originally want to go to the art school, but his father he asked him to go to the medicine college. Okay. By the way, you have to choose whatever you want. Don't look at other people. Okay, other people only just guide you, like your father and your mother, like advise you. Also, you have to obey them. And maybe you don't know about the future. If you are still, if you are still young, you have to listen to your father and mother. If they don't know who will happen to you in the future, for boys and girls, you have to pay attention for that. Okay, number one or number two, we have to. Why did he give up his original plan? Because he had to change his mind, and he didn't want to study medicine. Because his, as I told you, gentlemen and girls, his father tried to order him to study medicine, and this is he 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 says that it's difficult for him, and he he would not do it. Okay, next we have. Why do you think he took different courses? Why? Why? Because he decided to select which is the best one for his、uh, future. He will choose the best、uh, field or the best、uh, subject for his future. By the way, you have to do something like that, gentlemen and girls. Okay. Question number two, or the next slide we have here. What had he done to qualify as a language teacher? He wanted to be a teacher, but he said that I'm doing many training courses in order to be a good teacher. Why? Because he attended to many methodology.、Uh, we call it English. We call it here methodology courses. We call it methodology methodology or methodological. We call it methodological courses that they attended to these、uh, courses in order to develop、uh, teaching and learning. Okay, here we have also what other job opportunity did he have? He had many jobs like what, like airline companies, and he attended. And they, if he he said that if I attend to the airline companies, that I can change my life. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, it depends on your choice, gentlemen. Also, he registered at language center. Also, he attended to、uh, teaching jobs. Here we have, gentlemen. We have. What prompted him to make his final choices? Difficulties, ups and downs, make his life choices. Okay, does he regret about that? No, he doesn't. Okay, we have to move to the other slides. Also, gentlemen, here we have all. Are all the events、uh, presented in the chronological order? No, no, at all. 
events are presented in chronological order we have all also here which are the sentence and the phrases gentlemen and girls that are referring to thoughts attitude and feelings here we have many things which are like going to the art schools and changing mind also we have hey oh wonder to uh, what his life to be like also not too enthusiastically okay here we have gentlemen we have here you are now i want you to write now and we call it here speculative and personal narrative about important decision in your life and your father and your family also you have a good decision to change your life how can you change your life if you wanted to be wealthy if you wanted to be uh, rich me, uh, boy or girl what should you do you have to choose you have to do some uh, decision that to, uh, totally change your life here are many plans we have to follow it okay the life you are life now and the life which if you choose a good decision that totally or automatically change your life the first one here we have life is not is not change for, sorry for that okay life here we can say that the sequence of life automatically and differently change daily and weekly monthly and early also we have here limited sources of incomes you have only limited sources of uh, money for collecting money but here different and various num uh, sources of income also here we have educational level is very low but if you have changing your life the education is very high and you have opportunity and chance to go outside abroad and to study to continue master degree and phd degree also bachelor degree by the way gentlemen here we have many examples okay we have a life changing decision if you change and if you choose a good decision for your life it, it is automatically change all your life here we have after i graduated from high school I had chooses uh, of going to a uh, university in my town and going to one for from far away from my uh, home. Also, I'm uh, choose to go to the university far from home. Although I am happy with my choice, sometimes I feel it is lived two million miles from my home. If I had chosen differently, I, it would be led me to very different home. Okay. By the way, gentlemen, when you are going out, okay you have a time to change your life you have a time to change your style you have a time to change uh, your attitude your behavior your thought everything you have to change when you move from one place to another don't you have to change all uh, situations in your life here we have gentlemen you are now able to write a uh, homework we call it that uh, writing corner okay you have to use this by using uh, that the narrative or space we call it a sp uh, speculative uh, narrative writing sa you have to write it as this one what are you going to do gentlemen and girls you have to collect some notes about that one okay you have to make an essay also you have to note the feeling the attitude and the presented of the factual information in different uh, situations by the end of this gentlemen and girls i'm coming to the last slide of my lesson today it's my pleasure time to be and thank you and see you next time thank you and goodbye